so part 3 is about uh, what is going on around uh, know your organization and the uh, strength this this also i'll give you so you can see so this is SWOT analysis uh, all the trainings that, uh, that are i am recording you no know, i'll give the link to you not to worry okay and then the next is what is your organization trying to ac accomplish how do you know what is uh, what the organization is trying to accomplish so what are the strategy that the company has in place how do you know that that you will know from the mission and vision statement of your company yeah and uh, what plan they have and then uh, whatever uh, you know your colleagues also who are in marketing what are they doing your boss your boss has assigned some uh, some duty to everybody so he has he has a master plan and he has given a portion of it to everybody now your your target is to completely dominate your segment yeah so that that you need to the organization trying to accomplish you should always integrate whatever you are trying to achieve as a part of the organizational goal right then no 360 degree awareness around you what all you will know field what is going on in the field then uh, uh, what is the real time happening with your competitors then uh, uh, what is what is uh, one time not rotating uh, not going in cycle just one time what is going on all the time like the competition is going on all the time staff recruitment and attrition happening all the time uh, training happens all the time, right? These are all the time. What doesn't uh, happen all the time, just one time? Can you think of that? Our position? Your position also changes all the time once you <laughs> are strategically done. Because your position now always improving in the minds of your boss yeah yeah but but uh, yes you are right physically nothing is moving yeah but nothing is constant in this world no it is going on inside the mind so whatever is visible that you can control whatever is not visible you have to be in control hmm. you try your best to give so that it gets it remains controlled right then part four is your function in the organization vision now they have given you marketing position so why they have given you there is at least this is this is something you should be proud of because they have trust in you although yeah. you didn't have uh, experience in this particular field still they had uh, trust in you, at least 50% trust that you will grow up in the new field also. How your function continue uh, contributes to this strategy, right? So those formulation, where uh, will your contribution come? It is about how to formulate the plan. Your boss has a plan already. Now you are saying that you will increase uh, the market share, uh, like say your target by 10%. Now a new plan will be put in place. And then uh, that, that becomes your goal. Then how you do that, execute that also, that becomes part of the plan. Then whatever existing plan they had for you, that needs to be corrected now because you are giving them a goal for yourself. Then your plan will be changing. Might be you were doing something which, which was just routine and not of much consequence. Now they will give you much uh, more freedom. 
so that you can execute according to that and your boss also will sit down with you and have a plan so that he also remains no updated he will ask you questions what has happened what is that then feedback from implementation so when you start doing something your boss initially he will say now if now you have told me that you have increased the sales by say uh, 10% now how how many what is the number this month what is going right what is going wrong so this is feedback and define and measurable outcome with timeline and all these sheets you will complete and show it to your boss so he he remains updated okay where lies the root cause this is called root cause analysis process sometimes what happens why it is not happening is it is not your fault maybe there is some problem in the leadership thing the product is not good some some customers have complained about this product or the innovation is not good something is happening which is beyond you yeah out of control ha huh. this will be no there will be several kind of suppose suppose there is a jhagda at home right you know i know that whenever there is a quarrel or conflict both the parties are involved but yes. when i say what happened normally what happens one person will accuse the another person both the parties know it is fault of both but how many okay. times they agree that they also have contributed right no, they won't agree ha huh, nobody yeah. never so yeah. what happens very few people very few times they will agree and in order not to take the responsibility they will start describing in a in a way that you they are not uh, accusing you also but clearly they are not accepting their fault also so out of all this but at the end the work is not getting done so your focus will be whether that work was getting done or not okay so all all the other things you should not get involved into listen carefully what they are saying all the things taken care of you say acha acha okay okay this has happened but now you should be able to know where is the problem you ask if you can't know you can't figure out what is going on then ask as many question as possible ask questions what question how can you ask question first is what is the problem that is why the task was not getting done there is a problem the next is collect data from the person who is complaining ask him did you do this did you do that because you now have a timeline whether he he or she has a timeline done this way systematically or not so if if not then you will know that something randomly has happened he might not have reached in time the so where, wherever he has given appointment that person was waiting waiting and he was gone so this work didn't happen or then uh, what are the what are uh, other factors can be not directly related to this uh, fellow but indirectly related right so yeah. find out those then you can ask him so if we could have done this then there there was a possibility of this thing to be done so it was not done then we let us take responsibility together and we will rectify it from so you make a party in this so that the other person feels that he is not alone in this you uh, know whatever has happened yeah this, and he will agree then he will agree yeah if you corner one person if they won't agree definitely they won't agree and yeah. then you tell that uh, let us uh, improve this situation which has happened then we we can see 
right so this is how you do then fist bone diagram is the same thing how can you contribute or how can you make your uh, colleague contribute cause 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 the moment they are they give you one explanation you take uh, you create you find out a cause write that down in front of them acha this 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 many cause happened there can be more than one cause no this happened so this this was the outcome then second stage you go third stage you go and then the ultimately this should, the, the person also will see in front of him that this uh, problem got analyzed and this is the effect so most probably one of these uh, family of cause might have happened if not not he was delayed then the next thing is he didn't orient himself properly the hard can be like uh, he didn't have a proper communication skill might be or whatever you identify yeah wherever so this way nobody can escape you can find out so that is what how long would you take to train yourself every stage you will find some situation to no more so you have to give yourself uh, time see again i am saying never divert into something else which is not in your strength okay because all of us each of us have some strength and have some weaknesses we should not focus on our uh, re- rectifying our weaknesses there is no time you should work on your strength so you have identified your strength as people skill so in terms of people skill whatever strength you have if you need more strength to deepen that strength take that train okay always keep in mind not to indulge into something else some skills like the skills which i told you today in the excel those skills are common those skills are essential to strategy that is why i told you otherwise there are thousands of skills even with people management also which you need to learn sales skill is one prominent skill sales sales people even if they are not trained to uh, reach out to people the way you have reached out but they also reach out to people na they also yeah. take people's data so there is not much difference so you can um, you can very well transition into that now there is a very thin line between sales and marketing marketing is the awareness creation and telling about the product and all that actual sell happens with somebody else yeah now that is why i asked you you haven't specified any social uh, indicator for yourself you told what you told when the growth of sales happens growth of sales you didn't say you said that the market share happens ultimate uh, automatically the social impact, impact will come more. so who is your audience who you are trying to tell you you are telling me because i understood but all your audience will not understand what is a social impact also yeah, yeah yeah so make sure you tell that all the time and you don't have to tell uh, what percentage will increase even if you say it will increase at a, at a 1% rate they have to accept that. because there is no formula wherein you can measure social impact and social impact is not as a result of just one thing it is many things yeah. you are doing part 1 somebody else is doing part 2 somebody else because you have initiated something 
other things will come automatically because you you now uh, created awareness which means they, those people will know how it is useful to know know your health what are the water bone diseases all those things they will know na once they know they will know many other things so other people health workers will come and they also give something some training they will take that and their uh, success will be higher but they cannot say only because of their training it has happened it it ha it will become a combined effect yeah so what indicator you can give is number of stakeholders that you have increased that excess it you saw na mm -hmm. i have i have given you a stakeholder thing how many stakeholders you can also categorize them into types of stakeholders health uh, health people you no know, the or, or vendors then the logistic people right you know better all those things you have to keep and uh, that stakeholders from this to this you can now tell this health workers they they have come doctors have come and this many to this many right now how many and after you started implementing how many right in terms of numbers and how many camps or whatever they are organizing that also you keep in your this okay right and how many health insurance is being uh, given uh, what other training programs camps being arranged right all those now next part 5 is just now we are speaking engage with stakeholders through network so um, you make one map how many stakeholders can you bring into your system very important okay do you make prompt decisions yourself decision making is the characteristic of a leader so what happens when you go to field the most important thing and most uh, percept perceptible thing that happens is people are very narrow minded right if yeah. you are trying to do something somebody else is doing they always will try to compete with you now you have to recognize that what you will do what are the alternatives every competitor existing in the market is an opportunity for you and how that decision you have to make instantly so the, when we started actually i i asked you take a decision is say taking a decision will take time uh why it has happened because you know the orientation is less yeah but when the orientation is high you will instantly see perceive how you can utilize this person this resource that man that company for your advantage right and for that what all things you need to take into account is suppose something happens no you are not able to deliver so what are your alternatives that uh, that you can have how you can function what are the uncertainty suppose your uh, your uh, uh, manufacturing division uh, goes down and not working some for some reason nobody knows high risk consequences which are the high risk thing if you don't deliver which are the areas you might be gone if you are not functional for say two months then people will take another alternative so by the time you come back they will be gone for so what are the high risk thing how to start keep your market share intact think about that then interpersonal issues so the interpersonal issues as i told you na people are narrow minded 
you always think about how they will win as soon as you win. Right? So you have to think. So these, these uh, will make your brain go round and round and round. Each time you take one round, write down what you learned. If you create a notebook like this and write down whatever you, first round you are thinking, who is going to see that? Me only. You only. So there is no, no difficulty in writing down everything. Even if you think that this is very narrow-minded on your part, still write it down. Take another round, write down. Take another round, write down. So after four and five thing, rounds, you will see that you are much more clearer now what to be done. Okay. So that is that is when you, you can take a prompt decision. Now you are informed. You have made yourself informed. You can take a decision. Internal network, networking. What are the internal networking? That means within your organization. There is a manufacturing division, there is a boss, there is uh, other uh, accounting division, there is a finance uh, division, all these things. And there is a delay somewhere means your, your performance will be affected. Hmm. This is, this you need to be clear, you keep it clear. Strong uh, net, uh, internal networks. So today I was writing a proposal to Nabad. Okay. And there was in that proposal, I needed the information of how, how much we have received from Nabad this year. And that information had to come from finance department. And she was busy in something else, which is like say, uh, which is for each of us. Hmm. I, I couldn't pressurize her to give the information today itself. But she would have given me if I would have asked her beforehand. So how do you know what to be asked when? So that is a dependency, right? Yeah. So that dependency you reduce. You don't assume that it has to come from the finance department. So anytime I ask, they will give. No, 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 no. Whatever related to your work comes. First time you may not be knowing. The second time you know now what data. Yeah, this must this must data I need. Yeah. Keep, keep that data with yourself. What happens as a result? That person will know that working with you is easier. Then uh, suppose a new person or intern or a fresh person is there in that department. They will appreciate that you know whatever problem they are having. And streamline knowledge sharing happens because you now have maintained a database. Even if they don't know, you have something in which you can give them some hint about what data, what money, what everything has come, right? When it becomes too much overwhelming, take support. Support is asking for help, advice and guidance. From whom you, you can take advice, you are outlined that from the beginning. And these people can be many. Your senior, uh, somebody senior uh, colleague or maybe your boss or super boss or uh, somebody from the other department. Keep this in mind. You have to develop a relationship with them. Seek critical view. 
who is the critical view is when you all this data that you are handling now na all that data that data has some critical factors you know that uh, by intuition intuitively you know ki something wrong is happening here but there is nothing to show you know internet then you need to do that critical analysis why you are thinking whatever you are thinking for example suppose today you went to meet uh, a leader a, a panchayat level leader something happened he didn't like you there was some kind of argument happened you know na the next thing he is supposed to do he will not do right so but uh, this this ha has to happen no you need to tell him whatever you had told him which actually irritated him and this has happened but you had to tell mm -hmm. so what you do you do when this is a regular feature what every now and then it happens not to worry but if it is a critical part of your responsibility then you have to worry then you have to know how to deal with this when if a problem like this happens then we can discuss better now i am only hinting you okay then <clears throat> part 6 is define your purpose we in the beginning we started with this what first how later so strategic objectives and analysis strategic formulation strategic implementation strategic evaluation and control these are all strategic now you um, when you are going to implement with people the first thing is why you will do the exercise that we did was uh, objectives and analysis then the time time timeline that you did that was strategic formulation and uh, when you will be implementing in the field that is implementation which which time you would do what and how you will re uh, allocate resources you will take paisa vesa everything you will recruit a training team you train them all those things and at the end of it you have targeted for say for 400 you achieved 200 or whatever you or you achieved 450 this is what evaluation is the moment you evaluate this for you you evaluate for your competitors also you evaluate some data you will get now so when you do this you are in control whatever gets measured it increases it improves right so all the time you have to keep data how many you did this week how many did you you start from the day itself how many you do today how many you do in a week how many you did in 15 days how many you did in a month so every week if you keep then you will know this week you did this many next week you did this that right that day only we uh, discussed it purpose dominates method always <laughs> at the beginning of our discussion you always uh, discussed about the method that you do 100% and this and that but your purpose why you were doing all that that has to be paramount in your mind and that is determined by the values mission we created a legacy i i also asked you what you ultimately want to become how you how people will remember you so how people will remember you means if you say uh, say your purpose is purpose is to make money and you make money by taking bribe does that uh, imply your values No. no no so you have to define again your values what values you have you know, i'll give one example of one of my client 
he was saying that he do, he does uh, stock stock exchange right he invest in stock and uh, and uh, he uh, that is an income stream for him otherwise he he was a journalist so every time he has a quarrel with his wife he will do something wrong knowingly so yes. that he face losses i told him what is this this is foolishness na so knowingly doing mistake <laughs> knowingly doing mistake so he said see i didn't like when i quarrel with my wife so in order to punish myself i have created this so i said this is again a, another foolishness so see but you know you have to appreciate that how your mind also behaves this mind is governed by whatever values you have so i told him what values do you have so he said integrity honesty and all those things i asked when you face uh, this uh, loss how does your wife uh, behave no he said no she she also doesn't feel good then you are punishing her also yeah so and also your family money gone by husband is money gone from the family na so how does it help punishing yourself you know he he couldn't talk to me he was so depressed he couldn't he said i cannot do this exercise his mind didn't allow him to do this exercise creating values six values you need to create in your life so that you will save you from yourself right yeah and he couldn't do maybe that is why many people cannot talk to me <laughs> so they with or i know they are in pain but they cannot come back to me just because i ask them to define six values in your life okay how funny is that he will laugh but actually i have seen that pain he is the senior well, not a new fresher he is a very senior person in a very well known uh, what you can say well known magazine yeah national level acha hmm still he has this mindset what you do another person i spoke to i he he tried telling me something the, the moment he told me something i asked him another another question he said something then i tried to explain him this might be the problem he said he was scaring me <laughs> how can you know this detail i didn't tell you anything so i said that is my experience but i uh, i just narrated so that if you know that other other people also can know from whatever you are saying then not only me many people will sense whatever is going on inside you and that will not create a good impression about you so that person hasn't spoken again to me so what happens you know your mind will stop but he keeps on appreciating my articles my posts in linkedin that is what i see right? <laughs> anyways so stay aligned with the organization strategy so uh, from time to time if your organization boss changes then that strategy will be a little tweaked hmm but your purpose has to be but the mission doesn't change organizational mission it will not change just the strategy will change yeah strategy or process that that strategy you have to 
tweak into whatever strategy you have you just have to tweak into that so that you stay relevant you can tell your boss or organization that this has been my strategy this has this can be tweaked in this manner if this is the better strategy so unless you have something on paper you cannot say na what changes you are going to expect yeah break your work over a timeline that is what we did just now month wise we broke right and the next is be flexible while executing impact blueprint as i told you impact is not as a result of only your intervention it has to be several intervention so identify the indicators then indicators you have kpi you have indicated that is your indicators so along with that what are the associative factors also you can find out what other things have so there are early leading indicators and those are lagging indicators lagging indicators are uh, the present state of whatever is happening and leadings are future going you project that like just now we have projected 30000 to 45000 and uh, 20% to 30% right set targets as uh, monthly we have done that is the target you had done right now impact matrix is action priority matrix what you do low impact high impact feelings means in between whatever you are doing thankless tasks that you are doing uh, quick wins major projects quick wins are something short term but major projects are long term so that requires high effort low efforts are something like creating some uh, program campaigns uh, ic developing ic thing that that uh, dev, uh, takes time ha huh, so that uh, that actually takes a long term thinking what ic you will develop that takes long term but um, you no know, actually creating those things like say if, uh, if you ask somebody to paint that ic uh, something poster poster you need to paint that is short term how many posters you have painted that is 400 you have painted so that is short term quick wins the, uh, when you paint those 400 people 40000 people might see and uh, 40000 people were given awards you may conduct a quiz short term right and people will know acha you can you know um, say that that poster is there what did you learn that those are things and actual ro implementation is high high effort and major task that you ultimately do so all these things you need to keep in your impact matrix so this kind of like say four four drawing sheet you need to take the moment you are asked to uh, project and in the a notice board or a black a white board you have to paste these four and explain in this manner everybody will grasp this so your entire effort of 6 months will get explained in just four slides then how did you do it everybody will ask always talk about so when whenever you are doing this these are only four lines these are my achievements you can say this these are these are what i did and this took major as a result of this i achieved this impact thing right that is when people will ask you how did you do it whatever it so now your explanation becomes secondary second question not the first thing first thing what you conveyed all the strategic things that you done now people will go into detail so earlier what you used to do where you were explaining the entire process nobody was interested why nobody was interested because they didn't know what value you added 
now you are uh, showing them these are the values added now they would like to know the story in the story always tell what worked and what didn't work and what lessons you learned so in your slides always there should be this lesson learning goals every day you will learn a lesson so this this makes your story interesting yeah, yeah. it will creates curiosity if you ah. show the results first in the first trade in your in a movie what happens first the hero gets defeated right yeah. so you 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 have been learning all these setbacks happen and then you uh, win ultimately so you start with the win and tell where from you started and every stage how you have achieved becomes interesting right expect business questions once you do this uh, thing they will ask you business questions what are business questions all thing related to numbers markets and uh, market share growth trajectory all these questions you need to be ready with this slides meeting right? so part uh, part 8 is effective decision making yeah so who is a leader a leader is a person who has a goal and who makes a difference you remember that always if you are making you have a goal and you are making a difference whether you are promoted to the next position or not you are the most important person Definitely. always nobody can refute the the impact you are making so you focus on this promotion will be obvious right how many choices you have so right now how do you take decision how many what choices you have A, A is this, two is this, three is this, right? Which choice you take and why? Now document all that. You might be liking choice number one, but you have taken choice number two. Why is that? Then is it an emotional choice? Just because your uh, previous uh, previous experience was this, or uh, previous. Uh, um, effort was that that is why you have ma made this choice clearly write that right take a decision and make it right so suppose at the end of it you can't uh, decide on which choice to take so then what do you do take any decision take hmm. it and make it right like uh, suppose you uh, at the time of marriage you are shown uh, girl number 1 girl number 2 girl number 3 girl number 4 the girl number 1 is very beautiful very so sophisticated girl number 2 is not so beautiful but she, uh, she knows lot of things at the household girl number 3 is a working woman not so beautiful or very beautiful so how do you take a decision if those are your proposals how do you take it? one of my colleague you know he was saying this is the exact situation he was in you know uh, he was shown two girls and mm -hmm. one is a girl highly educated very sophisticated and another girl not so educated but she was okay she she didn't even know the language mm -hmm. she came from another state she didn't know the language so then two people two friends uh he chose the other girl who who is average looking but knew something didn't know the language and his friend chose the sophisticated girl both of both of them got married and uh, this uh, colleague of mine he is highly happy 
and the other person got divorced. Oh. And he, he is saying you took a good decision here. Yeah. Even if your wife can't speak well, she manages your household well, she, she understands you well. So in the beginning, when you are starting out, you don't know. Na. Don't, you, just, yeah. you just take a decision based on what, what is okay to you. So <coughs> now uh, this colleague of mine, he made that decision correct. And the other person, of course, your daughter, if you, it is your daughter, you would try to make her highly educated, very sophisticated. Isn't that? Yeah. And uh, when she, it comes to the time of marriage, somebody will come, uh, they will look for this, uh, these qualities. And uh, some people will look for, say, household or the things qualities. Of course, everybody nowadays should know everything a bit. But that is a, that is what I think. Maybe you think differently or other people think differently. So there is no guarantee that she will get into. Of course, today there is a possibility of talking to each other, knowing each other be better and then getting married. Even then, there are the number of divorces that is happening is high. So, yeah, the both the cases in the love marriage and arranged marriage. Both, both, both the cases. cases. What is yeah. happening? Because the decision taking has uh, taken place, but how to make that decision correct, that education is not there. Yeah. So whatever, uh, even in the case of uh, an employment also, one of my mentor in the US, he, uh, uh, I'll tell you that story, you must know. That story is, this person is an Indian, he went to US and he wanted to work in the uh, liquor industry. Oh. So <clears throat> somehow he got attracted to this liquor industry and he got into that first one. Then what happened? He saw that uh, he was achieving say 99% of, you know, the, the, the salary was like say 50% take home and another 50% will be based on the incentive. So mm -hmm. he was, he was doing 99% achievement and he was uh, achieving that. He saw that e even if somebody has achieved 50%, then also that fellow is getting. So he is okay. Why should I try and get to 99% achievement rate? So he talked to his boss and asked him whether this can be rectified. The company said it will take a lot of time to make the policy change. So he has to adjust. Then he said, if I can sell 99%, why should I sell at 50% and earn less? So I should go to another company. So he went to another company. In the second company, what was happening was, it was very, you know, process oriented. And for everything, he had to take a take a permission from a boss, then the boss's boss, then it was like that. So hmm. he was not, you uh, know, accustomed to this kind of uh, environment. But he somehow he continued. One day, what happened? He reached the office, and there was a yellow slip uh, on his desk, which means see see the boss. When he went to the boss, the boss, it is a lady, she was saying, Ki, it is not working out and you should leave. So what, what he will do in America, no, if you don't have work, then you have to find work in 31 days. Within 31 days, otherwise you have to return you know, back. Ah, you have to return back and so many other fees also come up. So, Suddenly it has come. No, he was not looking for any other alternative, though he was not very happy. So what he will do? He then uh, wrote down something. In, in six months time, I will become the CEO of a company. He has written down that. Hmm. And my income will be, say whatever he was getting then, my income will, that income was double the amount. And uh, so whatever opportunity he started getting was like, say, um, 
just just a little bit more than this so how to compensate for that so you know when you make some numbers as your goal you should start working towards that so he thought if i take another job in the weekend then uh, this money can come now suppose you have a five day packed week in the uh, weekends how can you have the stamina to go and work for full days so he thought what i will do then he asked his father he is from a business family um what do i do so his father told me think think and ask me only after 6 months acha mm -hmm. so what he had to do suddenly what happened he started that is what i will be teaching if you want to take this i have taken his entire course so what he did was he <clears throat> searched for about 20 companies hmm. likely to pay that amount ha huh? and uh <clears throat> then he shortlisted them based on some other parameters um and the company that was paying highest on achievement he chose that it was more than double the current salary so his first goal was achieved ticked now he was not uh, recruited as the ceo okay. so he was number 2 now he there was this uh, they were buying this liquor from another another place and uh, there was an exchange rate from that currency to this currency so they were buying from brazil or somewhere else so that brazil currency has to be exchanged into us dollar there is a loss of percentage so what they uh, what he suggested was to fix a minimum price at a higher price suppose right now it is 60 rupees uh, there is there is a possibility to, of it to go to 80 rupees so what he suggested is let us buy it at 70 rupees fixed for 5 years yes. so his boss agreed and he was convinced that was a decision he took then his finance person came and say what you are doing you are making loss of 10 rupees no for, uh, for every barrel or whatever you need there you are making loss of this many and this comes to this many uh, this amount and this is a huge loss for the company and he was like say left and right he was scolding and yeah. this was saying nothing he was also correct na in 6 months time he did, he said nothing in 6 months time the money price went to 75 <laughs> you know so when he took decision he had all these indicators of why it will go up so he was right although everybody was uh, making fun of him he made his decision correct in 6 months of time no and that those two people are the greatest of friends right now and he as a result of that he became the ceo of the company oh, mm. so this is the success to this is not only him whoever has followed this path all of them have grown right so this is class number 2 for you yeah right? so it is already one and half hour so let us stop here okay. and uh, if you have this question i'll send you this excel sheet you work on that and uh, then again we will discuss okay yeah sure right yeah so thank you for uh, making yourself available thank you so much for you also actually i expected 630 you will take you will send me the link uh, i didn't I get i called so you that i was in office today na 
so when okay. while coming back what happens is i walk because that is the only time i exercise i oh. don't get any other time so uh, if i walk then from my office to my place uh, i take metro uh, one metro that is for 5 minutes and there are 4 kilometers to be walked so from office to metro it is 2 kilometers and metro to my home it is uh, 2 kilometers in between there are 5 kilometers so 4 kilometers i walk every day while coming back so it takes me uh, 7:15 so today i reached home at 7 when you oh. asked me you no know, when i sent you the link yeah that is why great work <laughs> you are so much of with yeah. yeah thank you thank yeah, you yeah th thank you so much madam yeah